Hi everyone, this is Terry from Ramblings of a Texas Craft Room, and what I'm going to be rambling about today is a card that I made using a new cartridge that I just got called the Carousel. And this is the cartridge. It's a it's a thick, it's a light cartridge that you get at Walmart. They have them marked down. So if you get a chance to pick this up, it really has some really cool stuff on it. But let me show you what I did today. Today I chose the circus theme, and I'm going to do it in a stair step and it's a center step card and I'll turn it around so you can see see it has, it has a little step and it stands like this I don't know if you can tell on the camera but it stands up like that and uh, it just turned out to be a really cute uh, process and you just cut it real simply let me show you what the basic card looks like okay the basic card looks like this and you see it has a little stair and you just decorate it however you want. It's a really simple cut to make. It looks more complicated than it is, but there are a few steps involved, so let's get started. Basically, what you have to have is a five and a half by 11. So I'm gonna take this eight and a half by 11, and I'm gonna cut it at five and a half. And it's already at 11, so we're good to go. Now, uh, we're gonna make two slits, and we need to come in an inch from each side to make our slit. So I'm gonna measure over an inch. And I'm going to come down one inch from the top. And we're going to go from the one inch all the way down to six and a half inches. Let me move this so you can probably sit in the camera. One inch to six and a half inches. Like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over and we're going to make the same cut on the other side. Okay. And these are the only two cuts you have to make. It's a really, really uh, simple card. Okay, so we go from one inch to six and a half. And we're done. Okay, so that made you two slits. Okay, we're going to put up our cutter because that's all we got left of that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our score pal or however you want to score yours. And we're going to make some score lines. Okay, we're going to come in one inch from the, from the side and one inch from the top. And we're going to come from the top to the slit and we're going to stop. From the top to the slit and we're going to stop. And then we're going to come and we're going to go, I mean I hope you can see this in the camera. We're going to go from this slit to the bottom. Okay. Then we're going to move over to two inches, and we're going to do the same thing from the top to the slit. And here we're going to go from the slit to the bottom. Okay. Now we're going to move over five and a half inches, but this time we're going to stay between the two slits. Okay. We're not going to do above that or below it. We're just going to stay right between. So you go to five and a half, and you're going to find your groove. And there you go. You're going to go from slit to slit. Then we're going to move over to six and a half. And the six and a half, we are going to go all the way across the top like that. Okay. Now, let me put that up. Okay. Now we're going to fold. And we're just going to do a mountain valley fold. This is going to be a mountain. This one's going to be a valley. And the top right here, this is also going to be a mountain. And then this one is going to be a mountain. Okay. But look what happens. When you fold it, this goes up and these move up. It makes just the cutest little card. Get your bone folder out. I don't have my real bone folder, so we'll just kind of... There we go. There we go. See? There you are. Now there's your cut. And you're good to go. And you can decorate however you want. Now what I did with mine is I decorated with a circus theme. And uh, this is two cuts here. And I cut this at four inches. The circus is cut at one inch. And then I cut... Uh, some balloons and they are cut at three inches okay let's put it together I'll show you how quickly it goes together okay now what I did oh, let me move my balloons and stuff over everything's sticking together um, what I do when I make these cards is it's easier for me and that's just because I'm uh, measure challenged is I cut a six by six and I just glue it on and then I cut around it you can certainly measure and glue and do all those things you want to do but I it's easier for me if I'm just gonna put glue on this center piece here the T part right here okay nothing else and I'm going to glue this big piece on then I'm just gonna cut around it every time I try to measure this T out it never goes on straight I somehow get it crooked and oh it just irritates me um, I am measure challenged uh, so um, it's just easier for me to do it this way, but you do it however, whatever way works for you, okay? So, I just cut this, and I put it right on the bottom, just, there we go. Now, it's going to be hard for you to see because it's, uh, it's white on white, but I can see it, you know, pretty easy here. Okay, then I'm just going to trim it, okay?
I'm gonna trim this just a tiny little bit right here. For to get it too close and I didn't trim it far enough. Okay, then we're gonna trim here. We're good to go. Okay, now there's our card. Perfect. There's a little bit right there I'd like to trim. Like I said, you can measure yours and I'm sure it'll turn out perfect. Okay, so we're gonna do the center piece. This, these are cut at one inch strips and they go here. And you do the same thing. You can measure them. I think they're one by four. Uh, you certainly could measure it. This is just easier for me. Oh, I won't go there. Uh, I'm just going to flip, flip these in there. And I'm trying to hurry because uh, I know this is a few steps. So it's, I don't want a 15 minute video. So I apologize if I'm if I'm moving too quickly. I just want to get this in, uh, you know, the time allotted. Okay. So then I'm just going to cut it right there. Okay. Same thing. I'm going to put it right here. Only on the inside ribbon. A little one inch slip here. There we go. And we're going to put them right like that. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Problem done. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start assembling uh, this piece right here. And I will tell you, no matter how many of these I cut, this piece right here cuts really thin like that. I must have cut 10 of these, and I would say 9 out of 10 all did this. So you have two choices. You can do like I did here and try your best to glue it down the best you can, or you can do it like I did on this one, which means I just cut it completely off and just didn't even worry about it because it just, they're so thin that it really is complicated to get that glued down. We're going to try to glue this one down. Here's the base. And there's only two cuts. So you have the base and then you have this one. Let me get all the little things out of it. There we go. And then we're going to try to glue it. Okay. There's one more. Okay. On the, um, they, it, it's a lot of this cartridge is very tiny. And, and the balloon, the same thing. The strings are so tiny that it is almost impossible to get those strings off too. So you have to be really careful. And I'm just going to do some glue like this and some glue here. And then on the other pieces, I'm going to have to go with smaller glue. Okay. We're going to have to find my glue, which now I don't know where it is. Here it is. Okay. And we're going to try to glue it. Okay. When, once it gets on there, because it's just so small that it just cannot. Okay. All right. So what I did is I turned it over and I just matched it to the middle horse. And as soon as I got the middle horse where I wanted it, the rest of it sort of just fell in its, in its place. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now, as you can see, this piece is so small that it is just so hard. So I literally have to put glue here and just lay it down on the glue. And then just sort of wipe it off because it, you can't glue it any other way. And I found the other one I made, I just cut it off. It was just more irritating than than anything. I'm going to make six of these cards and so uh, I really don't need irritating. But that is just and you'd think they would when they ran this through Cricut and, and, and tested it or whatever it would have said you know what that, that thing is very thin it doesn't matter how many I use no matter how many I cut it's always no matter what paper I use it's still cut the same. Okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to put our little carousel a little bit of glue on our carousel and we're going to put glue on the bottom on the middle horse and just right here. Okay. And we're going to put it way here at the bottom. And the reason I'm moving it to the bottom is because I'm going to be putting uh, the word circus at the top. You can move it up if you like and then put your cinnamon on the very bottom. But I like that. There we go. Okay. Now, on the circus part, the same thing. It's another flaw this, this cartridge has. It had a, a shadow. I guess this is supposed to be the shadow. Then it had another small cut you're supposed to put on top of it. I never could get that to cut at all at one inch. If you cut it bigger, it had a lot of slits and, and holes in it. It just didn't make any sense. So, what I did is I just cut in a darker color and a lighter color at the same size. These are uh, one inch. And I'm just going to stair step it just a little bit to give it a shadow. It is about the only thing 
that I discovered that you could do. It just was not going to work. If you didn't want to do that, you could always go around this with some ink and give it a little dimension also. But I like this part works perfect. And so you just slow, just move it over just a little bit, and it just sort of gives it a, a little bit of a shadow. And it was the only way. It just wasn't going to work. Now, when you put your circus on, you know, same problem with the balloon. you got to make sure that it's going to fit in your envelope. So if you put it too high up, make sure it fits in your envelope. And uh, ask me how I know that. The first one I made wouldn't fit in the envelope. Okay, so I know I've got to come down at least to here to make it so it'll fit in my envelope. Okay? And I've got a 6x6 six six envelope, but it still is having a hard time fitting in the envelope. Okay, now the balloons, the balloons I'll show you are, see how this is so thin? I mean, it is really thin. So be careful trying to pull it up off your mat because they rip 9 out of 10 times, okay? And all I did was, uh, was place it onto the little, and it's just basically that but this is also the same thing you've got to be careful it looks really cute for the balloons to be way up like that but what I discovered is they won't fit in your envelope so you know it doesn't matter how cute it is it doesn't fit in the envelope but what use is that you can't mail it off unless you're just going to hand it to somebody but 90% of mine I've got to mail off so I'm going to be mailing these because they're part of our um, our swap so uh, I've got to make sure they fit in the envelope so I just bring it down and put it like that. Now, what I'm going to do is, while it's still wet, is I'm going to get up my envelope and I'm just going to press it into the envelope and see how far it is. Okay. That says I fit. While everything is still wet, when I can still move it, it's going to say I still fit. Okay? So just keep that in mind if, you, um, if you're going to be mailing it, that you need it to fit in the envelope. See, once again, these right here are coming up. So we're just going to put a little tiny dab of glue so we can't get it to lay back down. The strings on the balloons were very, very hard. They need to be thicker or cut them off completely and just use string. I thought about doing that, just adding some string. Okay, so there it is. Now we're going to cut a, um, a mat to go inside. And it's going to be um, four and a quarter. Let me get my cutter. I forgot. I will need that. It's going to be like a four and a quarter. Yeah by yeah, maybe five and a quarter maybe yeah something like that and um, it's just going to fit on the inside glue and you could double mat this if you want but it needs to have a, a, a mat inside even though I have white and, and most of the time when I have a white background I don't bother putting a mat but because the top is so heavy it, it really makes it flimsy so you really need to put another even if you just do another white Something needs to go on the inside to give it some stability. Okay. There we go. And so I just did the yellow. I really liked it. And you can do with the matte the yellow. And that gives it a little bit of um there we go. And there's your card. And see it just and it's just really cute. And I have a uh, a stamp that says follow your dream and I was just gonna stamp it down here. I thought that was cute for a thir circus theme. Or you could do a happy birthday and you could put like a three. Uh, it has a really this this uh, cartridge has a really good font on it with some really nice letters that would go really well with a birthday theme. If it any festive thing, you know, you could put on there follow your dreams, thinking of you, thank you. But uh but anyway, it's, it really turned out cute. It's a really nice cartridge. I didn't have high hopes for it. Uh, when I saw it, I, I saw maybe one or two things I might make on it. But once I got it home and really looked at it, I really did like the cartridge very much. So there it is. And I'm going to be making six of these. I've got a couple made already uh, for our card swap. So if you're part of our card swap, this is what you'll be getting. You'll be getting this card and you'll be getting this card, which I made the video yesterday on how to do that card. So uh, hopefully uh, by the next couple of days, the next time you hear from me will be uh, when the magazine is out and my uh, cards are published in the magazine. I'm going to be making something on my blog for that. I'm very excited about that. It's the first time I've ever been published, so I'm kind of excited. So, But I'm waiting for that. But anyway, uh, this is a real simple card to make, and I hope you try it. If you have any questions about any of it, please let me know. Thanks. Bye.